Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to do kind of a continuation on one of the other videos I did which were the the shrimp. I don't know I like doing these leftover videos just like I like showing you what what else can be done with something. Got these. I got these uh, beautiful smoked shrimp. I have them left over. And I, I was thinking what am I going to do with them? I, and I you know what? I thought, you know what, let's go a smoked shrimp filled ravioli. It just came to me and I'm going to whip it together. I have no real recipe. We're just going to kind of wing this one and uh, let's see what happens. I'm going to make the dough like last time. Uh, basically we're using, oh this time I'm actually using the double zero flour which is a much finer grind let's call it. Uh, two cups of flour, I'm using, uh, I use three whole eggs and th the yolks of three more. A pinch of salt, some olive oil, and that's it. And then you start, you, you do your well, make that hole in the middle of the flour on the counter, add your eggs, and then slowly mix them till it all becomes one. Knead it for, I think I kneaded it between five and six minutes get it where I wanted and then just uh, had it in the fridge for about an hour just to chill out and cool down and uh, let the dough relax. It's an important step. Very straightforward. It's not It's not hard. Uh, the more you do it, the more you familiar you get with it, the more practice you have, which is always a better thing. So get out there and try it. I figured with such a which a such a nice ravioli, I'm going to make a a nice light tomato sauce. I've got fresh tomatoes. I'm gonna dice them up. I'm gonna dice up some onions, some garlic. But what I'm gonna do, if you're not familiar with it, is use coconut milk instead of heavy cream. I'm gonna use this. I'll show you. Uh, anybody that's lactose intolerant, anything like that, use coconut milk in replace of like heavy cream and it will do wonders. Makes a beautiful sauce. I've been doing it for several years now that way and always turns out awesome. Enough chatting and uh, we're gonna get to dicing and all the prep and then I'm gonna start the sauce first because that can that can simmer slowly as we're uh, playing around with the ravioli and uh, making them. And we got time, let's do it. sauce going that's good that's can simmer I needed to simmer and reduce anyways so we've got the shrimp I've got some just regular cream cheese I've also got some uh, extra old cheddar which I'm going to just uh, shred up and uh, put for the filling we're gonna do the filling first make sure that's all done I've got the dough out so nothing fancy here. Okay. Got those all peeled. Like always, just wash your uh, utensils first, just to be sure. So there we go, like I always do, put it together without the machine plugged in. Now I'm going to plug it in. Dump all you guys in. And here we go. There we go. 
Yeah. Dump you back into the same bowl. Like I said, I'm not working with the recipe. This is just coming out of my head. I thought it would work. Uh, we're gonna mix this stuff together and then we're going to taste it, see if it needs anything. I'm not gonna add any extra salt or anything now. Let's put some in. Give it a It's good. I'm not going to add anything. Really. I'm going to I'm going to leave There's one thing I'm going to add though. Just a hint of lemon juice. There we go. A little bit of lemon juice goes a long way. The fun part starts now. We get to roll out the, the dough. So we got the top and the bottom. Okay. Flour, flour this up a bit. We don't want it sticking. Now we started the machine here on the thickest opening and each time now we're going to go down one step so what that means is the rollers get closer and closer together to give you a thinner and thinner piece This is where an extra set of hands would be nice, so you could... <clears throat> Beautiful. Beautiful. One more, and then we're there. Now this is the tricky part, I won't lie, because, like I said, an extra set of hands would be nice. Look at that. Nice and thin. Beautiful. We don't need it sticking. Okay. Now last time was the very first time I ever used this. What I found out, this thing needs to be very Liberally covered with flour. They don't really tell you that in the instructions. But you don't want stuff sticking. Boom. And we're just going to fill the cavities. Like I was saying, if you don't have a brush, use a finger. You just want to put a little bit of water between the joints. That's just going to help the other piece stick. To put you on. Squeeze out the air as best you can. And then use the roller, which pushes it all together. I'm not worried about that. And there we go. We got more beautiful. I'm gonna just cut them. I know, I know. There we go. That little bit of extra flour on top, we can brush off. 
But there we go. They're looking beautiful. I don't know if this will work. Oh, beautiful. They all came out at once. Yes. And that's why you have to flower this. Got those, got those. Just gonna get a pot of water on, salt it, and cook these guys off. Oh. I'm gonna just plate this now, yeah, nice and hot. How would you get this in a restaurant? Let's see. Nice tomato sauce. I know. There we go, look, look at that. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna dive in. Oh, that's really good. With that tomato sauce, it's nice and light. Oh yeah, winner, I'm keeping this recipe. Well, there you have it. Smoked shrimp filled ravioli, or however you want to say that. Turned out awesome. Homemade dough, filling, awesome. Tomato sauce, totally doable. Have fun, do this at home, enjoy it. Thanks for watching everybody. I uh, hope you had fun. And uh, I gotta go eat now. Uh, thanks again. Happy eating.